I'm Lisa Blah, and in today's video, I'm talking about sexual narcissism. And I will give you seven signs that your partner may be a sexual narcissist. Just quickly, I want to take a moment to thank every single one of you who watches my videos and has taken the time to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and hit the notification bell. I really do appreciate it. Okay, so to start off, let's talk about sexual narcissism and what it is. A sexual narcissist is defined as a person who has narcissistic traits that are specifically and primarily related to sex, meaning their narcissistic behaviors are apparent within the context of sexual behavior and sexual relationships. The sexual narcissist is driven by a sense of entitlement, grandiosity, superiority in regards to their sexual skills. They have an excessive need for admiration specifically around sexual performance, as well as a massive lack of empathy towards their sexual partner and a willingness to exploit others for sexual purposes. Sexual narcissists are excessively preoccupied with their sexual abilities, attractiveness, desirability, and they have unrealistic views of sex and unrealistic expectations of their sexual partners. The sexual narcissist exhibits narcissism primarily in a sexual context, and they may or may not have narcissistic personality disorder. That said, Research has shown strong links between sexual narcissism and cluster B personality disorders. For more information about the diagnostic criteria for NPD, please click on the link above. It's important to know the signs of sexual narcissism because sexual narcissists are predisposed to sexually aggressive and abusive behavior, and they typically have found creative ways to protect themselves from any accusations of sexual abuse or assault, and they will be grooming you early on for sexual exploitation. So here are seven signs that your partner might be a sexual narcissist. Number one, they act like they have extremely high self-esteem when it comes to sex, yet they are incredibly sensitive to any real or perceived criticism related to their sexual performance or sex appeal. For example, when given a suggestion, concern, a need, desire, or boundary related to sex, whatever it may be or how gently it was expressed, they will ignore it at best and at worst, it will trigger a narcissistic injury, potentially triggering narcissistic rage, which can involve aggression and violence where partners are punished sexually or otherwise. Sexual narcissists appear to have an inflated um, sense of their sexual abilities, and yet they need constant admiration from others. Their whole life revolves around getting sex and getting sexual validation. Sexual narcissists crave and demand praise during sex. They may order their partners to compliment them or express intense sexual satisfaction, even if they're not enjoying or comfortable with the sexual acts being performed. Sexual narcissists like to portray themselves and their sexual abilities as unique and incredibly superior to others. And while some research demonstrates that sexual narcissists actually do perceive themselves to be great lovers, other research shows that sexual narcissists are only acting confident, grandiose, and arrogant about their sexual performance to compensate for an underlying insecurity about their sexual adequacy. Number two, they feel a sense of sexual entitlement and they exploit others sexually. Sexual narcissists are sexually entitled and some research shows that sexual narcissism is a predictor of sexual aggression and assault. Sexual narcissists not only expect sex on demand, but they feel entitled to sex exactly when they want it, how they want it, where they want it, regardless of their partner's comfort level and needs. And if they don't have their demands met immediately, they may respond with aggression, threats, or other narcissistic tactics to punish or coerce their partner into engaging in sexual activities. 
So even if it's non-consensual, they may continue to push, pressure, or even force their partner to comply with their sexual needs and demands. Some sexual narcissists will blackmail using threats to share explicit photographs, videos in order to get what they want. They often use fear, guilt, as well as a partner's dependency and sense of obligation to manipulate them into unwanted sexual activity. Number three, sexual narcissists are promiscuous and are at increased risk of infidelity. Sexual narcissists are often known as being magnetic, superficially charming, and pickup artists. They are masters at using emotional manipulation tactics to reel people in and get them in bed. Research shows that people that score high in sexual narcissism have higher rates of infidelity, and when a sexual narcissist does cheat, they feel no guilt and no remorse. In fact, they usually blame their partner for their cheating behavior, often claiming that it's their partner's fault for not meeting their unrealistic sexual demands, which can often include deviant, disturbing, or extreme sexual acts. Most sexual narcissists experience sexual boredom and need novel, thrilling, and sensational sexual experiences to temporarily satiate their obsessive compulsive sexual fantasies and urges and their need for validation and praise in the sexual arena. They love the high they get from new partners and often see getting someone in bed as a game which they play regardless of whether or not they're in a relationship. Sex is where they get all of their supply and if you're not willing or able to supply them with exactly what they want, exactly when they want it, they feel completely entitled and justified to get it somewhere else. Number four, the sexual narcissist prioritizes their own sexual satisfaction and needs. Sexual narcissists usually begin a relationship as being super charming, showering a potential partner with compliments, praise, attention, that love bombing, then once they get them in bed, they no longer to need to impress you or try to meet your needs and it will become very selfish and one-sided. They will expect you to be on call, catering to their every sexual desire, expecting you to do whatever they want no matter how it makes you feel. A sexual narcissist doesn't see you as an individual with your own thoughts, feelings and needs. They see you as a sex object who exists solely to meet their needs. Because of this, your needs are completely ignored and dismissed. Your thoughts and feelings do not concern them. So when you do make a request or express a need or set a boundary, the sexual narcissist punishes or uses other tactics to control and dominate you sexually. Number five, the sexual narcissist is never satisfied. While they go to great lengths to prioritize their own sexual satisfaction, they tend to report low sexual satisfaction and blame their partners for it. So even if you are compliant, they will continue to voice that you are not satisfying them in an effort to decrease your self-worth and increase the odds that you will work even harder to try to satiate them sexually. They are constantly working on grooming their partners uh, to get them to fulfill their demands and they do this by judging, criticizing, insulting, punishing you for your sexual inadequacies. Again, their aim is to make you feel like you're not good enough and that you need to work harder to prove that you will be able to satisfy them. But they are insatiable and because of this they are constantly roaming for sex. Number six, they have an excessive focus on physical aspects of the relationship. For the sexual narcissist, it's all about physical appearance, beauty, sexual performance. They have a major problem with any perceived physical flaws, their own or their partner's. So when it comes to sex, it's not about emotional connection or intimacy, but about measuring up to ideal expectations around appearance and performance. Sex is very much a performance to them. And again, they very much view their partner as an object rather than a human being and any emotional closeness 
interferes with their sexual pleasure. It turns them off. They simply want you playing out a role and acting out what is already in their mind. And they're very much dissociated from you emotionally and only interacting with you on a sexual level. And even sexually, there's no intimacy. You are just a tool, a someone to play out their sensational sexual fantasies. Number seven, they treat their partner poorly and neglect them after sex. Since the sexual narcissist is simply using you to satisfy their own sexual needs, once those needs are met, they may disappear. So once sex is over, you are dismissed until the next time they come calling. And then again, only stick around until that need is satisfied. The short and long-term impact of being in a relationship with a sexual narcissist can be extremely devastating. The most common impacts are low self-esteem, shattered body image, shame, guilt, and fear around sex and relationships, damaged sex drive, overall trust issues, and sometimes post-traumatic stress disorder. If you recognize that your partner may be a sexual narcissist, then take some time to honestly examine the ways this is impacting you. Get help to evaluate your relationship and figure out how to regain control over your life. And if your partner shows abusive or violent behavior, sexually or otherwise, know that it is not your fault, even though that is what they will try to have you believe. And again, reach out for help to develop a safety plan and figure out how to get out of this situation as quickly and safely as possible. For more information about how to recover from a toxic relationship, please click on the link in the description section of this video. Thank you for watching today's video and if you liked it, please comment and subscribe. And to learn more about narcissism and relationships, click on the link above.